Now in this fraction mathematics video lesson, we're going to deal with how to represent a fraction into a number line. Uh, in the chapter integer, we had learned to represent integer into the number line. And here, let's learn how we can represent even a fraction into the number line. And you know, fractions, uh, let's say any fraction, uh, let's say it's four over seven or any, any fraction you take, all right? And if I want to represent this four over seven into number line, all right? How do I do it? First, you should know what is number line, you know? Number line, something like this. If it's zero, it will be one, it will be two, three, you know? This will be till positive infinity and similarly here, minus one, minus two, you know, until uh, negative infinity, you know? So my four over seven, it's a proper fraction. So four over seven and it's a positive number. So it will be between this zero to one because all the proper fractions are between 0 to 1. If they are positive and if they are negative, these are positive proper fraction. Proper fraction. You know, all the positive proper fractions will be in this line. And if the if the proper fraction is negative, then this will be from 0 to minus 1. This will be negative proper fraction, right? Proper fraction. This, 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 this section. So now here 4 over 7 is a positive proper fraction. So our, uh, our, this 4 over 7 will be somewhere between this. So how to represent this? The first step is you need to draw a number line. It's a number line, right? And since it's a positive, let's say here is 0. And let's take a unit distance. Let's say this is 1, OK? And now you need to see what is the biggest number. It's a proper fraction, the biggest number, I mean denominator, always you'll get the bigger number in denominator since it's a uh, proper fraction. So seven is there. So you have to now make the seven equal section between this uh, one, between this zero to one, which is a unit distance, all right? So let's make seven equal sections here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we have here now seven equal sections. And now we need to represent 4 over 7, all right? 4 over 7, you need to count the four sections from the left, all right, from the zero. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are here, okay? So this is our point, all right? We, we covered the four sections. So this is our point P, which is fourth on this uh, 0 to 1 and 4 over 7. So this is the fourth point out of the seven points, all right? And one is actually, you know, this is seventh point out of the seventh, all right? And if, if the question is saying, hey, just represent here three out of seven. So again, you don't have to do anything. You just count one, two, three. This is the third point, so this will be three over seven. If the question is uh, saying, hey, represent six over seven, then you just have to go to the sixth point. This is three, and then four, five, six. This is the sixth point, right? So this is the six over seven. Similarly, this will be five over seven. This will be two over seven. This will be one over seven. So like this, you need to represent uh, a given fraction into the number line. If in the case of uh, seven, right, we have here seven. And if, what about if I have two over nine? Then I will make same, but I will make this, you know, uh, it will be exactly same. But here the sections will be nine instead of seven. This is zero. And here, let's say this is one. So this will be, you know, nine over nine. It will be the ninth position. So I need to break this into the nine equal sections. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I, I, I did not do exactly an equal section. So let me do uh, a little properly. All right, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So now I have nine sections. You can count it also, All right? This is one. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. I have nine equal sections. And if the question is saying, hey, represent two over nine. So what is two? That's one, two. So here I am. This point P is the two out of nine, two over nine, or two by nine. This is the, this is the representation of two by nine in number line. All right, and what about if I have, let's say, minus uh, seven over uh, over 10 okay so what is minus 7 over 10 to represent minus 7 over 10 again you know this is proper fraction but in negative number so what I will do I will first make 
this is negative so 0 will be here here the bigger number is 10 so here this is 1 and this is actually representing 10 out of 10 okay so now let's make 10 equal sections because the bigger number is 10 and then 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 10 all right this is a little bit bigger but imagine these all are equal sections all right these 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 all are equal section you need to imagine okay now what is 7 over 10 so let's go let's count seventh point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 all right this is negative number so you need to move from right to left from 0 to uh, negative infinity towards negative infinity so this is the required point which is 7 over 10 but in negative direction all right so this is 7 over 10 and what is 9 over 10 so yes this is ninth position because seventh and it's eighth and this is ninth so this is 9 over 10 9 by 10 but in negative direction that's why 9 by 10 uh, what is 2 by 10 what is 2 by 10 negative 2 by 10 so this is 1 2 this is 2 by 10 this is 2 by 10 but in negative directions so this is how you need to represent uh, a, a, a fraction into the number line and in the next video we'll represent how to how to represent an improper fraction into the number line see you in the next video goodbye